hi all welcome to this video in this video we are going to create one VPC that is virtual private cloud we'll be creating one public sub subnet we'll be creating an EC2 instance and uh, along with it we are going to create one internet gateway we'll be updating route table and security group as well basically we'll try to access this newly created EC2 instance from the outside via putty resources we'll be creating one VPC with the cider block of 10.0.0 016 a subnet of cider block 10.0.1.0.2 slash 24 internet gateway ec2 instance security group and route table so let's get into the aws console and start creating these resources so this is my aws console and on the left pane you can see a vpc tab here so i'll just go ahead and create a vpc so i'll just name it my session vpc and uh, I'll name it as I'll give it a side block of slash 16 block tenancy and everything I'll keep it as default I have this VPC with me now I can go ahead and create subnets so this is my VPC I'll select here and right now I'm just going to create only one subnet Uh, as such, I don't have any preference for the availability zone. Sorry, I need to the, give the subnet name. My subnet name will be my session subnet. That's it. So I'll just go ahead and create the subnet. Now, my VPC and have subnet, I'll go ahead and create one internet gateway because this will allow me to access my EC2 instance from the outside. my session hw what sorry i think there is some error uh, i'll just try i'll just go ahead and okay so it is in the process of creating so it, it is there but it is detached so i'll go ahead and just attach it with the vpc Yeah, so now it is attached to the VPC. Next thing we have to do is to create one EC2 instance. So I'll just go ahead and click on launch instances. I'll just name it my EC2, my session EC2. I'm just using Linux AMI and uh, t2 dot micro and it is free tier I'll just create a new key, key pair and I'll be downloading one ppk file because that will help me in connecting with putty so here you can see the network settings right now are default but I'll just edit and use the newly created VPC and subnet so here is an option of auto assign public IP so right now it is disabled as you can see so that means when my EC2 instance will be created it will not be having any uh, public IP but we need public IP in order to uh, connect to, to it so I'll just enable it I'm also creating a new security group I'll name it again my session SG and it is having access for port 22 from anywhere so that is fine for testing purpose and that's it i guess we are good to create i'll just launch this it will take a couple of minutes to create so right now it is in pending state so we'll we'll wait for it to be created so our EC2 instance is now created and uh, instance state is running and all the stage status checks are cleared now. So let's see this. So you can see we have a public IP associated along with a private IP. So basically we need this public IP. And I'll just show. 
like how can we connect but I'm uh, but it will not connect basically I'll just show you I'll just try connecting and then we'll fix the issue so so this is a As I said, it will not connect because the reason is that we have not enabled uh, or added a route in the route table. So I'll just show you. So it, it timed out. So now we'll go and add a route. So basically, this is the route table and this is my VPC. So what I have to do right now is that I have to add a route. Basically, if some traffic is going outside, uh, then it should be going via internet gateway so with that uh, i think it will be able will be able to access it now i'll just restart this thing see i'll just log in as ec2 hyphen user see i'm connected to this now So that's how we create one custom VPC along with it EC2 and other things and try to access it. Thank you.